What is up, my fellow Dodger fandom? Fans and fandoms. And anybody else who wants to come look at these videos, because I'm not going to exclude anyone. Everyone's welcome to the party. And right now, the Dodgers are having a freaking party. They just swept the pods. LOL pods. And, you know, I'm going to put the disclaimer out here. I really, I like this Padres team. I'm not a Padres hater. I don't think they're all bad people. You can look at a lot of photos. You can go to the ballpark when they're playing, um, when they're doing batting practice. They like each other. This whole rivalry is just fans. And honestly, I will say this. I fucking hate Padres fans. I think they're, I'm not going to get into it. I'm not a fan of their fandoms, but I like their team. I like their players. Tatis, he's definitely making a name for himself, and he's definitely changing the, the, name, uh, the name of the game. And I think that's important. Machado isn't as bad as he used to be. Although, Machado, stop fucking playing in right field. You're a third baseman, not a right fielder. With that being said, let's go and do the State of the Union for today uh, for the Dodgers. Today they're playing the Rockies, but this week they just played the Padres and swept the fuck out of them. So it's great. The pitching has been phenomenal. Julio Urias came back. He pitched about five. Um, Bueller came, pitched six and a third. No runs. I think one or two hits. Sure's are fucking uh, annihilated everyone. Uh, defense was on point. The last two Scherzer outings, defense was not on point, and that was a big issue. Scherzer had to throw a lot more pitches and couldn't go the whole game or couldn't go far into the game. I think he was pulled out in the sixth or seventh last game or last two games, and then this one, especially in the Philadelphia series, that's not what Scherzer's here for. Scherzer's not here to play this half game type stuff. Scherzer's here to play two games in a row. He's a freaking maniac. And if, you know, the team's defense isn't on point, that's kind of hard for him to do that. So, that was a key aspect that the defense was on point. There were some errors, obviously. Like, there were some overthrows, but no biggie. You know, the job was done. Um, so, yeah. Scherzer's gone four wins with about a 1.55 ERA, four strikeouts. Um, but it was a shutty. So, that's all that matters. Uh, another thing notable were a lot of the home run robs. There were about three. Myers robs Seager. Uh, Pollock robs Machado. But then Gershom says, uh-uh, I got Machado's back and robs him back. So it was cool. It was a cool series. And no one's really talking about it. But the bullpen was no hitting the Padres on, on game two from, I think, the eighth inning or whatever inning they got their last hit up until uh, Tatis' homer. But they're being hit for almost a complete game's worth of innings. Eight innings. That's crazy. No one's talking about that. And this is what I meant earlier in the last state of the union. Bullpen, bullpen, bullpen. They are important and they are going to be important. Down the stretch, our starters are going to go long. But if they can't and if they run into trouble, our bullpen needs to be reliable. Kenley's starting to come back to form a little bit. He still scares me. But if Kenley can start shutting down uh, teams above 500 with power hitters, especially the Padres, I think he's coming back to form. I still don't want him in the closer role. Knable obviously like struggled a little bit, but I'm not too stressed about it. Luckily, our def our offense picked him up, but that was a little bit scary that he gave able to, to run bomb. Um, Trinan is just a maniac. Trinan's untouchable. Bicky, Vesia, my dog. Um, some other notable names. Green is coming to form. Um, Kelly. Uh, I understand that Mitch White is uh, one of those mobile pieces. I really hope they do take him into the postseason roster, but I don't know. It would be worth it to take him versus like a Lux or uh, McKinstry. Sorry, fellas. Um, I think McKinley might get also like axe into that postseason, but we'll get there when we get there. Um, just lastly. Uh, I think Kershaw is coming back to form. Not coming back to form. I think he's rehabbing um, very nicely from what I've been hearing and seeing. Mookie's back. Hopefully he's doing well um, in this next stint. Uh, for the most part, all good positives. Uh, I mean, if I can think of negatives, uh, I can't really think of negatives right now. And then, you know, we still have injuries. Um, and offense is a little inconsistent, but they'll get there. And I just want to make one more note. I fully think that Dave Roberts had been improving as manager. 
this team has been doing a lot of bullpen games, and they're second best in the whole league for record. Second best in the whole league. There was a period where the Dodgers only had one to two starters. Sorry, two to three starters. And they have the second best record. I understand that there's a huge talent that Dave Roberts can kind of rely on and kind of like have his back. But the fact that his biggest criticism is his mismanagement of the bullpen, and they have the second best record. Man, him and Freeman, they're doing their jobs, and I'm proud. I'm a happy Dodger fan. Moving forward is all good vibes, but job's not done. There's still more baseball to be played, and that's where I'm going to end this State of the Union for the Dodgers in the Padres season. Padres series. Let's go get them, guys. See you soon.